We've only just started moving into 5G mobile data, but already we've had our first glimpses of the far future. 10G and future specs of Wi-Fi. It's not just hypothetical either. These are real data technologies that may be with us sooner than we think. Here's everything you need to know about 10G and beyond. If you've been following tech news, you've almost certainly heard of 5G, the next generation of wireless technology for cellular networks. But you may not know about 10G broadband, advertised at this year's Consumer Electronics Show. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about 10G, what it is, who's developing it, and when you can expect it to roll out. The basics of 10G. 10G is a new piece of broadband network tech that will theoretically allow for greater than 10 gigabit per second GBPS speeds over cable internet networks. 10 GBPS is up to 10 times faster than 5G and more than 700 times faster than the average US internet speed of around 18 Mbps. Leading the 10G charge is Cable Labs, whose new DOCSIS 4.0 standard may enable internet providers to offer 10 GBPS network speeds over existing cable systems. 10G is unrelated to 5G, the latest generation of wireless cell network technology that's been slowly rolling out across America since last year. You also shouldn't confuse 10G with 10GE or 10GB Ethernet, which is an Ethernet cable standard that provides up to 10 GPPS speeds. The naming situation is confusing and has drawn a fair amount of ire from tech writers, some of whom we believe the 10G branding is mostly a response to the buzz around 5G. In any case, 10G field trials should begin this year. If the technology is successful in allowing cable providers to increase the maximum internet speeds they can offer over existing high-quality fibre cable networks, you're likely to hear more about it through the rest of 2020. What is Wi-Fi 6? Now, also shown at CES 2020 was Wi-Fi 6, the next generation Wi-Fi protocol that industry analysts predict will see widespread use very soon. Wi-Fi 6 is exciting because of its potential to solve one of the most significant current problems with Wi-Fi, how it can struggle to support multiple devices connecting to the same signal. This problem has become more notable in recent years, obviously, as smartphones and smart devices have become more popular and the number of devices connecting to the same route or hotspot has multiplied. A few big names in router manufacturing debuted Wi-Fi 6 capable routers at CES. The price point of these routers were, in general, comparable or somewhat higher than current routers working with Wi-Fi 5. For example, Netgear debuted a two-pack of Wi-Fi 6 routers that will retail at about $230. Most quality routers available right now cost somewhere in the range of $100 to $200. Some of the newest smartphones are also launching with Wi-Fi 6 certification, like the iPhone 11 and Samsung Galaxy 10 series. The change probably won't be immediate, but it's likely that through 2020, we're going to see a gradual adoption of Wi-Fi 6. Both 10G and Wi-Fi 6 received extensive coverage at CES 2020. Wi-Fi 6 is what sounds like a more standard upgrade to the previous version of the Wi-Fi standard, while new 10G connections should allow cable providers to increase the maximum internet speeds they can offer, and by quite a lot. We'll likely continue to hear a lot about both of these over the year as Wi-Fi 6 capable routers become increasingly common and cable networks begin to trial the new 10G tech. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.